Well, it came to Australia, didn't it? Yeah, That's that... all we need to say. <laughs> and, and it's sort of Aussie. Captain Cook's won himself no friends, it seems. Apparently so. <laughs> Uh, and that's not really laughable, but somebody's been going around defacing all the statues, haven't they? They have been. Even just like yesterday or 24 yeah, hours yeah, ago. Yeah, they cut him down. In Fitzroy Gardens. Yes. Cut off his feet. That's it. Push him over. That's right. Yes. This is the Endeavour, and it did come to Australia. Mm. So it's quite an iconic ship. And this is a kit made by Corel. And Corel's an Italian manufacturer. It is, and they make really fine kits. And when I say fine, I mean quality of the fittings in it. And the quality of the wood they supply is just plain awesome. Now, is it all laser cut, or do you have to cut it and bend it? And... No, there's there's a lot of parts that are really uh, made easy for you. The frame is laser cut already for you. So let's let's crack it open. Let's, let's have, have a look. Because I've got no idea. Does it come with a hardware box? It does. Does it? I so really it comes with fittings. In the early days, ship kits used to have a fittings kit as a separate thing you had to buy, which is really silly. That doesn't make sense. So they all come with fittings now. So everything is in here that mm. you need to build a ship. That's right, including the base. Yeah. Obviously not tools and hardware and glue, I get that. No. Like all it the is parts. a kit, but all the parts you need yes. to build this ship That's right. is there. That's right. And it's also one of the 60th scale, so it's one of the bigger kits one available. One of the 60th. Yes. And which, it's, which got a, it's, it's got a Lugeza. That's right. So a length of 78 centimetres. Oh, you're guessing that. A height of 66 centimetres. Delta. And a, a largeness. The large is, uh, I'm probably oh, saying it really, probably offending a lot of people. Oh, you know, you'll only be offending one or two. <laughs> all right, so what do we get? We've got whoa, this is all the documentation that would be an instruction that's hard to ignore. Okay, so we've got full size plans in here, so you can actually build it on top of the plans and also have um, assembly diagrams. So we're not going to cut this open because it's all fully sealed, yes, and then also have all the text instructions by step by step. So in a way, it is very old school building. So it's it's not as well uh, diagrammed as say, a modern plastic kit. So if you've got some understanding of how you know to work with wood, it's helpful. But if you want old school building, you can't go beyond these. Okay, so and this if, documentation. And if you've got some time to put into it. That's right. It's not something that you're going to build in an afternoon, is it? No, no. Take you many, many months, I'd say. Many months, many All months right. of afternoons. This is our fittings kit. Okay, and the fittings are all the small bits. Okay, so you can see all the, uh, uh, what do you call these things? You've got your you're, dead you're eyes. Ask, you're asking the wrong person. Dead eyes, you've got cannons. So is these it, will be cannonballs here. It's not a monkey fist, is it? A monkey's hat? Monkey fist is a type of knot or something, isn't is it? Is it? you got some white metal parts here. Monkey fist. And you got the uh, long boat. If Master Joe's not careful, he's going to get one for Christmas. And you see all these areas here. <laughs> hey. So they just slot into each other and they make all the grills. And there's it's, a lot of white metal parts. I was in. going to say, there's a lot of cast metal parts yes, in here. Yes, Die cast yes, metal. It's pretty old school. And then there's also a finished light. And there's like a it's ratchet. Is that a ratchet? That looks like a ratchet. It does look like a ratchet, doesn't it? That's probably for... Is that brass? It's probably a white metal of some kind, which has been coloured. Okay. Yeah, I doubt it's brass being so um, intricate. But there will be some, a few little brass bits there as well. Okay, so there's all your fittings. And here's all your cut parts. Okay, so there's your frame. And there's multiple pieces for the frame because this is a big ship. And what kind of glue you do go. you use for this? I like using the uh, yellow wood glue, which the is yellow the wood glue. aliphatic. It's fast drying. And it is sandable to a point. Do you brush it on or do you put it on with a nozzle? Where? How does it? Well, I think it depends on the area. So, you know, big chunky bits like this, you could probably apply with a nozzle. But I always prefer to put it on uh, something else and apply with a, a smaller implement like a, um, a skewer, wooden skewer or something like that. Just so you get a bit more steps, control. Nine steps gizmo would be good for this. A gizmo would work, yeah. And the glue wouldn't stick to it either once it's dry. You peel it off. Okay, so they're your major parts here. And, and everything's then, number stamped. Yes. Yes. No? Yes. So you know the order. Oh, non has been busy. For sure. You got well, heaps of no, rigging. No. Lots of rigging. I'm out. And it's the rigging that really makes it at the end. Um, I'm tapping out there, mate. All right. You got parts for the, the base. stand. That looks like the base. Yep. And you see the fine 
wood, like the quality of the wood here. Look at oh. the grain. It's like a cheap, really awful looking grain. Brass nails? Brass nails? Yes. What do you mean? Well, brass nail, nails for, you... for putting in fittings and such. How do you hammer it? Must be a little hammer. Yeah, well, a little Swiss hammer. Why is it Swiss? Because the Swiss use them. They're called Swiss hammers, haven't you seen them? They've got a little head. <laughs> oh, we're going to get in trouble. We're going to get in trouble. All right, so so here's the, uh, what do you call that? I I'm going to need to put that in our safety box, I think. Is I don't it, know that you're that allowed to piece say or what is it? Swiss hammer anymore. So this is the part where, you know, all those formers go into. And then you create the shape. Here's the top of the deck. It's a deck shape. How thing. do you know that? Because this is where it's going to slot into all those formers. Okay, so it's going to be, it's going to fit like this somehow. So they're all going to match up somehow. Come on there. I mean, that gives you an impression of how big the deck's going to be. And these are where all the masks are going to go. What's in there? This is all your strips of timber. What do you need that for? Because you're going to individually plank it. What? The whole side of the boat is individually planked. I don't know what you mean. Why would you plank it? Because the real, the real one's planked. Oh, you're going to put those? Each individual no. strip. So it's not even shaped. No. They come flat. Yeah, they're flat. Is that where the nails go? Is that how you bend it? Uh, the nails will be going into these these bits here, yeah. I think. Oh, down here. So the nail in each one of these. That's a worry. How intricate is it? That's super intricate. Okay, and usually these are double planked. Oh, really? Um, they'll Will be, it they'll float? Be... Well, you, you've seen Master Joe. He's made one float. What was his one called? A blue nose. A blue nose. So you got an artist on your blue nose and converted to the radio control, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you wanted to make this go, you could. You know, you just need to, you know, think about come with sales, engineering though, a, a big long keel on it. Uh, I don't know. No, it wouldn't. I doubt very much that it'll come with sales in here. So very nice indeed. Yeah. So we're not going to open this up, but this that, part here is going to have all your planks in it. How does that okay, so it's absolutely double. beautiful stuff. Corel. Yes. Well, Corel too. Sorry. But have a look at it. Mm. This is like, it's like old worldy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like a treasure map. It feels like the pirates have been here. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't it? I'm excited to see you build one on camera. I've got a ship kit. Well, I've got a a speedboat, which I've planked, and I've stopped because I need the five glass it. I'm in an apartment. I'm scared to five glass it in an apartment. No, that, and I've got that, one of these excuse, two, which I've adopted. That excuse doesn't fly, man. I haven't it's started. Been, it's been in the studio. But I'm really busy building a field at the moment. And for some reason, I, I feel like I have to finish this field. <laughs> I can't think why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> don't know why, but yeah, that's a feeling I get. Mate, Let's pop those bits back in there. You get a big box there, mate. Yeah, yeah. Let's lay all these down, and I'll put the fittings box back. So yeah, so there's quite a lot in here, but it is a very long term. The last thing you want project. to do is spill that on the floor. No, you're not. You don't want to spill that on there the floor. There is a lot of fittings there. Yeah. And then your your plans this go This Corel in. thing. That is a handcrafted kit, isn't it? And these make magnificent display models after you finish them. Have them around the house. You can collect them all. You could collect them all if you've got a lot of room. <laughs> lot Most of places, yeah, display one. But, I mean, this is a very long, long-term long project. So how many hours do you think it would take? Oh, it'd be thousands. 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 Really? I reckon. I reckon. You think about all that rigging. I don't think I've done anything that long ever in my life. Maybe. It takes patience. And virtue. Bye.